Hi, this is gonna be the last review in this spot. I'm in the process of moving. You can see some plants have disappeared. So I have to find a new good spot for my channel. I think it'll, we'll find a corner and my new apartment looks as good as this one, hopefully. But I am excited to finally have a Trillium small bird for the first time in a while. They haven't released a small bird this entire summer. And we just got out of our biggest heat wave. So I want to drink Skimpy Sparrow <laughs> very badly. It's 5.4% alcohol, canned very recently, like a couple days ago. What, two days ago, wow. Um, and it's brewed with a big blend of hops for Trillium. Nelson, Galaxy, Citrus, Simcoe, and Columbus. And it uses the same grains that they use in um, their street series. And let's just jump in and do it. This is the first hoppy beer that Trillium has raised for the prices on. I was a little disappointed on it, but still wanted to get it. It's not crazy expensive like their other ones, but a lot of breweries have been, you know, lowering the prices of their smaller pale ales. But as you can see, this is super hazy. I'm sure it's super packed with hops. Like they could call this a session IPA. I don't think anyone would bat an eye. One thing that looks very different from all the other small birds that I had, you know, over the past four years since they've been canning them. I guess they even had them before like, the whole canning. But uh, they never had that this nice of a head. Like, it's not a magnificent creamy head, but it's got some density to it. The big bubbles will, are gonna pop pretty quickly, but a lot of times, Trillium beers, especially they're like higher ABV and lower ABV hoppy beers, the haze seems like it messes with the head quite a bit. Their street series and their four point series, um, they've kind of figured out how to have some good head retention with those. Yep, and I get a big explosive blend of hops coming out of this one. <sighs> yeah, it's a really cool combo, all that different stuff, because we got Galaxy, very popular Australian hop, Nelson with its kind of smoky jalapeno notes that I get off um, an unripe tropical sort of thing. It's a little bit more ripe than Galaxy. Galaxy is usually very unripe to my tastes. Um, and then, of course, Simcoe and Citra, your American dank. <clears throat> tropical, berry, yeah, I'm getting some good berry notes out of this. A lot of stuff, passion fruit. It seems like it has a little bit more of a candy-ish note to it than um, some other Trillium beers that are very dank and juicy. This one's got some Smarties and stuff like that happening too. A little bit bubble gummy, which you rarely get from Trillium. Much spicier than I expected in the flavor. And refreshing, not too sweet, but pretty big on the candy esters. Now the head's died down quite a bit, but definitely better than what I used to begin with these beers. Pretty full mouthfeel, but not very soft. It's prickly, kind of seltzery. And there's a little bit of a bite to it. Otherwise, low in bitterness, just a little bit of a carbonic, kind of minerally bite happening. But super refreshing. It'll probably become even more chuggable as it ages and it loses a little bit of that hop bite. Um, but it's not too sweet, not too thick. It doesn't, that's what I've noticed things. The, the trillion beers don't finish as clean these days as, as I'm used to finishing. The best one I've had recently was probably like the double dry hop four point. That one is very nice. Um, but I had a four point bath that was almost totally clear. It's like, what's going on? Now I'm just gonna always check the reviews. Um, 
and try to figure out what the latest batch looks like before I buy it from Trillium because they're just so inconsistent. And I thought that, you know, they would always make their beers would always be hazy, but they 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 done messed up with that one. Yeah, that's nice. I think the I like what is it? Not little penguin, not or less pipsqueak penguin. There's one other one, Little Rooster. That's, I think, probably my favorite small bird, but I haven't drank a lot of these in so long. Well, this one is pretty good. I think I, last time I gave it a 4.25. I'd probably give it a little over, um, a little over a four. But, I mean, if you, if you want something really, really low alcohol that packs in a lot, oops, a lot of hot flavor, this is a good one to get. Um, that packs it in better than a lot of other breweries, but I don't know if it's really worth the $15, honestly. I probably won't buy it again, but it's very appropriate for what I want right now. Bye-bye.